right? That was easier than the other ones were. We'll go ahead and blind him again. I will say this, Zoom's attack animation is pretty snazzy. The regular one. The little jumping slash he does. It's real cool. Ow. Seriously? That stupid eye laser wouldn't be the, uh... Wouldn't be so bad if he didn't have that. Um, it's really weird that sharing... That's never happened to me before. I don't know. Okay. I got him with the bomb shot. Better than nothing, I guess. Wait, that didn't stun him? Whatever. Oh, I'm seriously annoyed now. <laughs> Is there like a healing pad or something? Oh, I can get... Ah, stop it. We have that, so that's nice. Stupid Anubis Knights. Why is why do they why is this one hit so much harder than the other one? Or I just don't get it. Go ahead and stun him. Or we'll go ahead and uh We'll just use the smoke screen there too. I'm pretty sure that did regen his health a little bit, didn't it? I don't understand why the enemies do this. It's very random about it, it's the worst part. Every time they take a turn, they'll get like some health back. It causes some very frustrating boss scenarios in the third chapter of the game. You two should be dead. We are. We've come back from the grave to haunt you for your misdeeds. Ooh. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're no fun at all. Sektua, we know about all. We know all about your plans, and we have come to stop you. We know that you're paying me to round up a hundred rebels so you can use them to sacrifice them and use their life force. We also know that you want to use the Orb of Light to power the Yaga spell to bring the first Sektuat or Sektu out the first back to life. On a side note, it's creepy about how, it's kind of creepy how you're obsessed with your great and powerful ancestor. I guess you've got me all figured out. Well, except uh, except that you're entirely wrong. I'm not trying to back bring back my great and powerful ancestor back from the dead. He is the first one. I am Sektu out the first. Yeah, even without my memories of how this quest goes down. Um, that was pretty easy to see coming. Ew. Wow. You are old. I mean, really, really old. I am older than either of you could imagine. I have been the ruler of the Sand Sea for nearly 1,500 years. Ah, oh, God, that is one ugly mug. During my first reign as Sektuat, I realized that none of my children had the mind or will of an emperor. I began searching the lands of Lore for the secrets of eternal life. I found that I could unlock the secrets with the Orb of Light. Then I could transform myself into a Lich, an undead sorcerer, blessed with eternal life, but cursed with eternal undeath. I have used its power to sustain myself for these last 1500 years, but once I became a Lich, I realized my mistake. As a Lich, I could never know the pleasures of living, only eternal life and eternal unrest. I yearned to be alive again. I kept searching for the true key to eternal life, and I found it around 1,200 years ago. I gave the spell to the Yaga sisters for safekeeping. 
As we agreed, they sent their outcast sister to live here in the lands with the spell in her care so that I could keep watch over it. Each time I took my own place as the new emperor, I was a little more cruel. I knew that if I squeezed these feeble peasants hard enough, they would eventually rebel, and they would give me the hundred enemies that I need to return to life. Return life to this undead shell. My bad. I'm only telling you this... I'm only telling you this so that you can understand the true power that you face if you choose to battle me. But I never expected that you would go get this far, so I will give you the chance. Or the choice. Join me, and I will grant you life everlasting as my undying generals. Make your choice. Let's see what this goes. The end. You agree to Sektuat's terms. Sektuat tells you in order to raise you as his undying generals, he first has to kill you. So you let him kill you. And now you're dead. <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. <laughs> that is fantastic. No way. I didn't really think that you'd fall for it, but I had to try. Alright, let's heal up in battle Sekduat. What are his resistances? Immobility is 66. Ah, we might as well give it a whirl. You really should have put the mask back on. He looks way more... Looks way cooler with it. That aim shot didn't even look like it did anything. Um, get him. Got an extra turn of being stunned off of him, too. That's nice. Ouch. Surprise. That was really snazzy looking, honestly. Oh, he only hit. Well, he only missed me once there. Ooh, nice. 50. Not bad. I think we've got this one in the bag. Ow. Even when his attacks hit, they don't seem to be doing all that much. Ouch. ka -ching. All right. He, he just vanished. Does that mean we destroyed him? No, a lich cannot be disposed of so easily. He will return. He is still the emperor of these lands. The people will still see him that way. So the rebels have a lot more work to do. At least we have lost most of his power without... At least he will have lost most of his power without the Orb of Light. What will you do with the Orb? I was lucky to beat Sepulchre to this one, but I still have to beat him to the rest. I can't watch them all while I'm finding the missing ones. I think that you would be a safe person to leave it with if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on it. After all we've been through, you would trust me with the Orb of Light. Aren't you worried that Sepulchre will just buy it from me? No, I consider you a friend now, and I understand your code of honor. If I trust you with the orb, then you will do everything in your power to keep it safe. I can't think of any more. Anyone I would trust more with the fate of Lore. Thank you. I consider you a friend too, and I will guard the orb. Or I will guard the orb with my life. I plan to stay here to help the rebels. Sektuat still owes me a lot of gold. If you ever need me, you know where to find me. It was amazing fighting by your side. It feels good to fight for something I believe in. Thank you for teaching me that. If the rebels ever need a hand, you can call me, call on me too. Thanks for everything. Alright, boom. You and Zoom have defeated the ancient lord of all of the Sansi. 
The battle is won, but the fight is far from over. He is still a ruler of the land with huge armies under his control. But you have won the day, and the Orb of Light is yours. Alright, Ancient Current. So I guess we'll give the uh, Titan fight a whirl, but I don't imagine. Alright, Death from Below. It appears Sectuat has decided to hold an entire, the entire town captive, since the since he cannot tell the rebels from normal villagers. Now that we have the Orb of Light, he cannot cast his spell, but I but I fear that he's still willing to kill the captives out of spite. Out of spite. We've been able to free some of them, but the rest are still in danger. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Dune Lord? Dune Lord, huh? We've rescued most of the villagers, but we still have a problem. The rebels that we rescue have overheard Sektuat's army talking about a creature called the Dune Lord. It is some massive ancient monster who has slept for centuries beneath the sands. They are saying that Sektuat is furious that we stopped his plans and has summoned the Dune Lord to devour the rest of the village. We have to save them before the Dune Lord arrives in the tomb fields to the west. It will take a it will take the unimaginable power of a dragon lord to stop this Dune Lord. All right, summon your dragon and fight. Oh, really? I have to go through this other stuff first. All right, suck it, mummy. I should probably switch to a dark elemental here before I get um. Your dragon cannot have its element changed at this time. That's not good. Why is it ice anyway? Oh, because I fought Zan last. Man. That's a bummer. Oh well, I might still be able to pull this off. How many screens of cannon fodder do we have to kill? This is the place. So where is this Dune Lord character? Maybe he got scared when he heard we were coming. Yeah, sounds reasonable. I mean, here comes Hunter on his giant dragon, who wouldn't run? Yeah, I'd be scared of us. In fact, I'm a little scared of us now. We're that good. I guess you are. I can feel you shaking. That's not me. I thought that was you. Uh, do you hear that rumbling noise? We've got... We've got Titan side. That thing is a Dune Lord. Maybe we should have walked. Wait, what? Maybe we should have walked Rhythm. We might not have attracted the worm. Too late for pop media references right now. <laughs> We've got a fight on our hands. All right. I guess heal in battle. Oh yikes! He has. What does resistances be, anyway? Aw, oh, man, he'd be weak to fire? Let me change it back. Uh. Alright, breath. I think the only thing he would resist is light, though, right? He doesn't resist, well, he resists stone. Alright. Ouch. So as I laid out before, I'll try this, and then if I don't succeed, I'll just call it quits there. <clears throat> Ooh, looking like I might be able to pull it off, though. Ow. A whopping thousand, huh? I raise your thousand with twelve hundred. If we pull this off, it's going to be by a whisker. Phew. 12.95, that was snazzy. Alright. We've now taken the lead here, which is good. Ouch. Um, got it. Phew. 
All right, we've got this in the bag now. 11.38. And we leveled up. Nice. We've achieved level 16. 20 health, 5 mana, 5 stat points. You and your dragon have defeated the Doom Lord and saved the rest of the people of the Sand Sea. Sektuat's power is greatly diminished, but he is still a great threat to the rebels. Fighter's worth. Okay, cool. Alright, and that wraps up the quest for the Light Orb. I'm not sure which um, side quest we will embark on next time, but we will find something to do. Until then, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.